Hello, my name is Mark Brown. I'm still teaching at Wisconsin Lutheran College and I'm a member of Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee. Our scripture reading for today is from the second letter Paul wrote to Timothy, chapter two, the first five verses. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. Similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown except by competing according to the rules. November 3rd is not an ordinary day because here in the United States, is, it is an election day, not only for the president, but also for senators, congressmen, perhaps some mayors, I'm not exactly sure about that. And so the, the whole questions about leadership and responsibility and about how to hand off that leadership, or let's say pass it on from one generation to the next, become important things for us to think about on election day. But of course, it's not only a political question. As older workers uh, choose to retire, there will be new workers who will rise in authority and take their place. Will they be good leaders? Even uh, we think about that in the church when a, a pastor or teacher gets to the end of uh, his or her career. And even in the family, although these things don't happen in a very formal way, Yet there is a sense of being people wanting to be good leaders and what you may find if you haven't already is that over time, the parents become more dependent and the children learn to take over responsibility. You probably noticed that Paul was talking to his young um, pastoral uh, partner, Timothy, and he called him his son. And he talked in here about transferring this leadership and authority. He said that um, uh, what you have heard me say, tell it to others so that they will hear and pass it on. And one thing he talks about that's important to leadership is being faithful. He says, um, what you've heard me say in the presence of many others entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Faithfulness is a very important ingredient. One teacher in the church has said that leaders in the church don't have to be brilliant men, but they need to be good men and faithful men and women. And Timothy had showed his faithfulness over a long period of time uh, by learning from Paul, even when Paul sometimes had to encourage him to be more bold or to take more responsibility. That may not have been Timothy's nature, but he had shown himself to be faithful, and that was important. And of course, the model for faithfulness for all of us is the Lord Jesus Christ who suffered for us. He was faithful to his Father and his Father's will for him to become our Savior. And so we look at him for both the power and the pattern for our faithfulness. A second thing Paul says to Timothy is that it's important to have focus. And he uses a couple of examples. One of them is that um, if you're in the military, you have to think about the responsibilities you have in that position. And uh, uh, you must take uh, um, training and uh, leadership from your commanding officer. Another illustration he uses is that of being an athlete. And he, I'm sure that Paul had in mind the runners who run a race. Uh, you are not gonna get to the finish line effectively if you're looking at the crowd or waving at somebody or hope so-and-so will see you in your nice outfit running. Uh, focus is important. The concern that Paul had for the church in his day is still a concern we have today for our families, in our churches and work, and in our country, that we will continue to find good and faithful men and women who will follow the example of those who have gone before and who will lead us into the future. As we get older, many people in my generation are very happy to hand over that responsibility to others. Uh, and above all, we look to Jesus, who is the pattern for our faithfulness and who strengthens us daily with his grace. 
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the men and women in all of our lives who have been models of leadership and faithfulness, and we pray that you will give us those same gifts and help us grow into those situations. Uh, we thank you for those who have taught us the word, those who have protected us in our lives, those who lead us in government, those who are serving us in many ways. Help us to grow into their pattern and to leave a faithful pattern for those yet to come. In your name, Lord Jesus. Amen.